all angular. Go all the way. Everything looks good. Roger. like to do is share with all of you my experience because that experience means very little if it's only for one person when you're up there after you get settled in and used to the feeling of weightlessness you notice that you're going around the entire earth every hour and a half and so you pull out a map of the world to see what you're passing over you set up the periscope and you look in and what you find yourself looking at is the Mediterranean area, Greece and Italy and the Sinai. And you begin to realize that in one glance, what you're looking at is what once was the whole history of man, the cradle of civilization. And you think about all that history. Next, you go down across the northern part of Africa. You see Ethiopia and the little tip that's Yemen. Then you see that great subcontinent of India pointed down towards you as you go past it. Then you go out over the Philippines and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean, vast body of water. You never realized how big that is. And finally, you come up over the coast of California and you see Los Angeles and then Phoenix. And then there's Houston, there's home. And that makes you feel good, because all that is friendly. And then looking down to the south, there's a whole peninsula of Florida before you. Then right away you're crossing the Atlantic Ocean again, back towards Africa. And you do this again, and again, and again, round and round. And you find that you're identifying with Houston and then identifying with Los Angeles and Phoenix. And next you realize that you're also identifying with North Africa and then with India and then Sumatra and then Australia. When you go around it in an hour and a half, you begin to realize that your identity is with the whole thing. And that is a change. That is a new feeling you never really felt before.
after four days of this, when you've done more tests than you can count, you and your partner Dave Scott get set to leave the land that's been your home and go outside. So you put on your suit, you get all ready, and then you go out the door. The first thing you see is the sun rising over the Pacific, and it's an incredible sight. But you can't look at it for too long because you really don't have time. You've only got 40 minutes outside to do everything you have to do, so you start taking lots of photographs, like you're supposed to. It's beginning good pictures, and take a lot of them. You take pictures of Dave, and across the way in the command module, Dave takes pictures of you. And then, a stroke of real good luck. All of a sudden, Dave's camera jams. And so now, he has to stop and fix that camera. And you have just a few moments with nothing to do. So, you let go. And you float out. And then you look down. There are no limits to it. There are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there. Floating. Going 17,000 miles an hour. And there's not a sound. There's a silence the depth of which you've never experienced before. And that silence contrasts so markedly with the speed you know you're going. As you stare down at that magnificently beautiful earth below you, you start thinking about what you're seeing, the incredible spectacle of it. And you start remembering your house, your family, and your identity keeps expanding, your friends, your nation, and then something hits you in an instant you realize that on that globe that blue and white thing is everything you know everything that means anything to you all of history all of music all of art birth death love tears joy, everything, all of it, and you think about what you're experiencing, and why, do you deserve this, this fantastic experience, have you been separated out to be touched by God, to have this most special experience here, now, that other men have not had, you think about that, and you know, absolutely, that the answer is no. There's nothing that you've done to deserve this. It's not a special thing for you. And then, all of a sudden, you realize that you are a piece of a total life. You know very well, and it comes through to you so powerfully, that you are up there as a sensing element for man. You look down, and you see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all your life. And you know that all those people down there, everyone, they're all like you. They are you. Somehow, you are representing them. You are a sensing element, now extending past the surface, a point out on the end. And that's a, a very humbling feeling. to you, the giant step that humanity has taken. Somehow, without any of us being aware of it, things have changed. 
and we can no longer see ourselves as we saw ourselves before. For now we have seen our earth as it truly is, bright and blue and beautiful, floating in eternal silence with all of us as riders on the earth, together, brothers who know now that they are truly brothers. Too soon, your experience is over. You get set, light the main engine, turn around, and head for home. After 10 days, you've gone 161 times around the world, seen 161 sunrises and sunsets, and finally, splash, you're on the surface of the Atlantic. And right away, there are lots of people all around you. All of a sudden, your whole experience is behind you, and you're you're back in humanity again. But there's a difference in you now. There's a difference in the relationship between you and your planet, between you and everyone else on your planet, because you've seen something that has forever changed you, and it's an incredible feeling. And what has it all meant? Have you opened a door to the future? Yes, you have. Because you've played a part in a changing concept of man. A relationship that you've assumed all these years, not just you, but everybody. The whole of history has assumed a relationship to our planet, which is now changed forever. And you know that change has taken place because it's a part of your gut. And through all this, I've used the word you because it's not me, it's you, it's we, it's life that's had this experience. And I guess that's really about all I'd like to say, except that I'd like to sort of close with a poem by E. e. Cummings that's meant a lot to me, it's become a part of me, and it goes like this. I thank thee God for most 
this amazing day. For the leaping, greenly spirits of trees and the blue, true dream of sky. And for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. Thank you. Thank you.